Hello YouTube, Robert here. Um, I just got back from Nat. Um, I have the mat right here, as you can see, the mat. At mat. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys my deck profile and tournament report of what I played against. Uh, let me get that out real quick. Actually, I just remembered. Um, I made top 64, as you can see with this map, but I lost in top 64 to windups. So we'll get into the deck first. We got BLS, Gores, Dark Arms. Um, just like the three most powerful cards in the deck, in my opinion. Uh, core is just safe net. Uh, two red med. Three is inconsistent. Two is the way to go. Um, yeah. Three late pulsar. Probably the best card in the deck. Uh, my opinion. Three dark flare. Uh, I jumped up to three because of Aegis and Tears plays, and his effects really important. Two wyvern. I... Drew this card so much, didn't really matter that much, but it was good. Uh, two Chaos Sorcerer, it's just a great card in general. God dang old text messages. Uh, three Tour Guide, one Sangin, helps add consistency in combos. Three Lila, two Raiko, five Light Swans. Two Card Trooper, uh, helps the mill and crashes with Thunder King. One Reaper. Uh, one Reaper was good tech all weekend because it saved me versus Dino Rabbit a lot. Uh, three Veiler. You need to throw in the three Veilers because it's important. One Battle Fader and one Swift Scarecrow. I think it's uh, 32 monsters. Uh, spells next are Future Fusion. The card's amazing. Should be banned, obviously. Uh, Charger Light Brigade. Heavy Storm. Monster Born. Dark Hole. Lightning Vortex, um, it was my second Dark Hole, and it got Wyverns out of my hand, so, um, when this is milled, I just liked it. This was a Courtney Waller tech, uh, Pot of Avarice, it just helps recycle cards, uh, one MST for Skill Drain, Remains Macros, and, uh, three Gold Sarks. So, why did you decide not to play, um, Solar Recharge in the main deck? Uh, I didn't like Solar Recharge at all because it was, uh, trashy, and it, <clears throat> you had to combo it with Lila and Raiko, where Lila and Raiko are good standalone cards. And uh, if you got wind up looped and you open into a, if you draw a Gold Sark, you can still stay alive if they can't completely kill you in those two turns. Versus the recharge would just be left in your hand. Um, and you start to realize how critical these five light swarms are um, mid game if you can like if you can't OTK really quickly or you have to like conserve them. And uh, I'd rather pitch them for like Pulsar than a draw card that would potentially mill my future fusion. And uh, were there any games that your opponent killed you before you got to fully resolve the Gold Sark or anything, or was it pretty consistent most of the weekend? It was pretty consistent um, the entire weekend, almost. Uh, things I would kind of change maybe is the Vortex and the Avarice, I'd probably drop them out. Uh, Avarice was really good in the clutch in the mirror match, um, partially in games too to help me recycle um, what I side deck, so... And then, why did you play, as far as the monsters, why did you play Scarecrow and Fader over Trigodia? Because I know a lot of people play Trigodia because it's good in the mirror match. Uh, it being good in the mirror match is true, but the Scarecrow and Fader is a lot better, uh, partially in going into games 2 and 3 versus the mirror match, and uh, against wind-ups, these are a little better than Trag, because you drop Trag, he's normally going to have like 12, 18 tops, Right. Where these are better. Uh, the Battle Fader being a dark and can be tributed off is really important, and the Scarecrow just uh, basically protects you for the entire turn where Trag can get warnings. Uh, Scarecrow can't. And what would you say is your worst matchup? Worst matchup had to be wind ups. Uh, and, and how many did you play? Played one. one. Yeah, I was lucky to only play one yeah. all day. Um, we're getting to the side deck really quick for you guys. We got Light and Darkness Dragon. Uh, this was only used for countdown. I played one countdown and I beat him because of this card. Uh, Caius and Mobius, these are both going into game two. Uh, Fader, I can drop these safely, and against Dino Rabbit, they're amazing. Uh, one Koki Mirror Drago for the mirror match, that's why I have Scarecrow in the main deck. Because of the mirror match, when they put him in, I can drop the Scarecrow and not die compared to a Fader. Uh, I played against Alex Reynolds, who top 32 uh, Philly, and game one. It was a mirror match. He crapped on me, and then game two I crapped on him with Drago, and he had a Trag, and then game two I crapped on him with Drago again, and he had a Battle Fader, so that's why Scarecrow was so key. Uh, two Virus, good for the mirror. 
Um, that's about it. I mean, I sided them in against Dino Rabbit, took a Lagia, and then treated it off. So you just gotta be really cautious when you side it in. Uh, two max C for windups and sectors and Dino Rabbit. I got this off against Dino Rabbit and drew, but it wasn't that good this weekend that much. Uh, Soul Exchange, I decide one for against uh, Fossil Dinos and Zen Mains, another problematic card like Dolpha. So, um, and then I'm siding in the two Mobiuses, another two Kaiuses, Monarchs. Ugh. Just in general, good combo. Uh, two MSTs going into games two and three against Dino Rabbit, mm -hmm. it's needed. Two Messenger of Peace, this was uh, Josh Ram and Luke Mattingly, him and I, and all three of us. And then Courtney Waller decided to get onto it finally after um, against Dino Rabbit. They are going to either take out their MSTs or always hold MSTs for decree. So these going into it lets you sit behind it until you want to smash them when you have everything in hand. And then two battle um, roller trees. So this was against Dino Rabbit and uh, Countdown. Is there anything that you would change from the side deck or? Uh, like, would you put a third max C in now that windups are kind of probably going to become big again? No, probably not. This side was immaculate. It I used everything all weekend, so nothing didn't get used. Uh, normally, I go into a YCS and something doesn't get used in the long run, but everything got used and did, all served a purpose. Did Messenger ever cause you any problems or anything? I mean, I know you can just shut it off, but... Uh, against Dino Rabbit Day 2, uh, it put me lower life, but I won game 1, and we were almost ready to go into time, and I turned it off, and that was after I had used all his resources away, so mm -hmm. he had to laggy on my first messenger when I was holding 2, so um, just messenger's really strong, and it makes them waste resources. <clears throat> Did you run into a lot of um, level limit area Bs? Uh, yeah, I ran into, I think, four or five of them. Uh, Mobius, MST, and... Rikos. Rico normally took care of them, usually. If not, Exabeetle. Yeah. But uh, we'll get into the extra deck, actually, right now. Um, Five-headed, uh, the future fusion target. I He came out a couple of times, so, I mean, he's obviously necessary. Uh, ranks threes, we've got Zen Mains, Levier, Leviathan, and Acid Golem. Uh, now, I know everyone says Acid Golem's really bad, and he is really bad in every deck except for this one. Um, I only had him in the extra deck for the Countdown matchup, because uh, Game 1 against a Countdown player, you're supposed to be smart and just scoop Game 1 immediately. Like, there's no if ands, or buts about it, just scoop Game 1. And then Game 2 goes straight into Acid Golem uh, with Tour Guide and take 2,000 for three turns. They'll have to burn their one day of pieces on the Acid Golem, because they don't want you to do that. And then you just tribute him off for a uh, late pulsar or a dark flare or something. So um, acid golem was only used for that instance, and I did do that against the countdown player. Uh, Mage stroke, steel swarm roach, and the Jin. Never made either of these three, um, but they're really good. I might have made Mage stroke one. I don't remember. I may have against the mirror match. I can't recall too much. Uh, Tears Adrius. Like I said, running three dark flares. Uh, these two are really good. I made Adrius a couple of times. I didn't make Tears once. Uh, Eggs of Beetle, uh, Tom, and Bouncer. The ranked six of the decks. Um, Eggs of Beetle's the best one. He makes the Mega Play in this deck, which I can show you after. So, like, Eggs of Beetle is the best ranked six. And then you have uh, Gaia. Just overlay over top of Eggs of Beetle towards the Mega Play, and he's just a dragon. It's good. And then one synchro, I played Black Rose. Never made it once, but it was in there just in case, so uh, I don't know about that. <clears throat> what would you change in the extra deck? Uh, take out the Black Rose, probably for a scrap. Um, that's about it. Everything else is needed in situations, but mm -hmm. that's about it. Now, the Mega Play is... There's way two ways to do the Mega Play more, but... So you overlay into an exit beetle. You'd much prefer to have a uh, light pulsar engraved, but Sangin works just as well. Uh, when he's exceed summoned with these guys, you just bring back one of these two, equip them to him, and then you detach. And it's much more optimal if it's the pulsar, but if it's Sangin, you just search. If it's pulsar, you bring back um, darkness metal, and then 
if you're able to do the complete mega play, you would uh, darkness metal, bring back the pulsar, drop the dark arms, dark armed off the pulsar, bring back a light pulsar, or a red mid, and then bring back light pulsar. So your ending board will be ending board will be two red mids, a dark armed, a Gaia, and a light pulsar. Uh, and if you're going into games two and three, the other red med could become a uh, Drago instead, and this is just the mega play. So it gets around everything that's like really, really good and strong. So that's the big play. Um, I played against I played Dino Rabbit round one, round two I played. I think the mirror match. No, I played Dino Rabbit twice in a row. Then I played Frogs. Then I played the mirror match round four. Then I played Hero round five. Round six, I played the final countdown guy, I believe. No, that was round eight. Uh, six, I played, I think, the mirror match. Seven, I played the mirror match. Round nine. I played in sectors. Round ten, I played the mirror. No, I played Dino. And round eleven, I played the mirror match. Twelve, eleven. I played with Dino and Mirror. That's all I really played against, guys. Uh, my only losses were mirror match, the in sectors, and the hero. And they all also top sixty four. So that's about it, guys. This mat is not for sale. Do not offer me anything. Um, I know people are going to be cute and try to, but yeah, I'll just ignore you. Alright guys, thanks.